right, guys, welcome back to Tweaker Garage. I need to take a pause on working on this Jeep Commando and give my Jeep LJ a little love. As you recall, it's been stripped down in preparation for one ton axles, 40 inch tires, and a four link, three link suspension. So we're gonna spend a little time prepping the new back half we just got from Genrite. A customer at my son's shop, Mayhem Metalworks, brought in an LJ for a full rework, like race chassis and suspension and the whole work. So I was able to buy his rolling chassis for a pretty fair deal. Uh, I mostly bought it for the parts, uh, for the one-ton axles, the king shocks, bump stops, race line wheels, and 40-inch tires. And the plan is to swap all that over onto my frame. But at the time of the purchase, I was undecided as to whether I was going to use his frame or my frame. His frame is already set up for a four link in the rear and a three link up front and the king coil overs and whatnot. But I kind of wanted to keep my Jeep VIN matching. And so I was tossing around which frame to build. But both have the same problem in that they've both been set up in the rear for coil overs where the frame has been Frenched in for stock length and I want to go stretch. I'm talking about a six or seven inch stretch. So after talking to some people and doing a little research, I settled on the Genrite back half. Now this is the kit that comes in the TJ to LJ kit and I'm told it's the same they use for the tracer. I don't know if that's right or not, but I know it works with their fuel tank that I've also recently purchased. This is also a builder's kit. It comes as a box of parts and a really nice book with instructions on how to lay it out and assemble it. And I want to mention too, I didn't get a discount or any sponsorship from Genrite. I am a retail customer. I just happen to like their products. We paid a lot of attention to keeping everything flat and straight and made sure all the angles are right. We tacked it all together and went around working to manage the heat so we didn't get a lot of warpage or distortion. And I feel like we're going to have a real nice back half when we're done. It is, however, a lot of welding. So we got the two side rails built and we get it laid out on our quote unquote chassis table and get it all squared up, clamped up, and we lay some tacks down to get it all in place. I have a spreader bar up at the front to keep the frame rails at the prescribed width and we just work the night away getting it welded up. Did I mention it's a lot of welding? So the frame is all built, primed, and painted, and ready to go in the Jeep. Now the fun part starts. I gotta take tedious measurements, figure out where I need to cut my frame to get this to fit in just right.
So prior to installing this back half, I need to get my new Mayhem Metalworks subframe installed that's going to allow me to hang my four and three links off it and provides my transmission skid and support. Looking forward to that. Check back soon for that video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.